Okay, here we're going to do a couple of quick examples related to the nth term test for divergence. And to me, this is a very useful uh, test for determining if a series converges or diverges. It's almost the very first thing I think about. Um, it probably is the very first thing I think about. So what the uh, nth term test for divergence again says, it says you've got some series, you know, with some formula, a sub n. It says if you take the limit as n goes to infinity of the a sub n's, if that is not equal to zero, then your series automatically diverges, boom, you're done, you can go on to the next problem. If the limit does equal zero, it's inconclusive. Uh, the series may converge, it may diverge, we don't know anything. So be careful, because the common mistake, you know, series are confusing, I think, for a lot of people. They certainly were for me uh, when I first started dealing with them. They still are tricky, I think, a lot of times. You know, people will fall into the trap. They'll say, oh, if it's not equal to zero, they'll remember that it diverges. And then they'll mistakenly say, well, if it equals zero, I guess it does converge. And, you know, if things were so simple, um, if that were true, we wouldn't bother doing all these tests and different requirements that we're doing. But, so again, the first statement is, uh, is what we're going to use here. So here we want to figure out, do these following series converge or diverge? Uh, so for part A here, we've got the limit, or we've got the series from n equals 1 to infinity, n squared plus 3n plus 1 over 2n squared plus 4. Well, if we take the limit as n goes to infinity of n squared plus 3n plus 1 over 2n squared plus 4, uh, we've seen these types of limits. If the degree of the numerator is equal to the degree of the denominator, which it is in this case, we can just use the ratio of the uh, leading coefficients. So in this case, the limit will equal 1 half, which is definitely not equal to 0, and that tells us that the series is divergent. All right, so easy enough. Uh, so part A, we would just simply say it diverges. Part B, if we look at the, uh, you know, we've got from n equals 1 to infinity of the natural logarithm of cosine n. Well, we'll take the limit as n goes to infinity of the natural logarithm of cosine of n. And limit laws say we can simply pull the limit inside. So we've got the natural logarithm of the limit as n goes to infinity of cosine n. But as n goes to infinity, uh, cosine just keeps oscillating. So this limit simply uh, does not exist. Well, if it doesn't exist, it definitely doesn't equal 0. So in this case, again, we could say that the series, the series is divergent. Of course, uh, you know, if the limit had equaled 0, again, in that case, we couldn't really say anything. We can't say the series converges or diverges. Then you have to start thinking about, you know, different tests that you'll learn. Integral test, uh, direct comparison, limit comparison, ratio test, root test. There will be all these other different tests to try if the limit is 0. So the limit's not 0. Again, it diverges. You're done. If the limit is zero, it's going to be a little bit, a little bit more uh, labor intensive because you're going to have to figure out a way to, you know, address the question.